I just combed it. Are you good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Right. Stacy here or? Nah, she couldn't make, she got to work tonight. All good. Yeah, so. All good, all good. Yeah, Woo! So, yeah, grinding the floors. Okay. Yeah, for some, um, you doing it yourself? I, I took a class on some epoxy. You took a class yeah. on some epoxy. Yeah, so. But, That's the most man thing I've heard today. Yeah. So yeah, I took a class, so I'm grinding the floors. Our shipment came in, so yeah, I took a class at um, Epoxy School of Tampa. Okay. And so we um, went there, and what he's gonna do is he's gonna come out with um, prior um, um, schoolmate. We're gonna help, he's gonna, we're gonna all gonna bang it out. Wow. So, because when I got quoted to, to do this, it was like over 30 grand. Yeah, no, it's gonna be so, crazy. Yeah, so I was like, and then just to even laminate the floors with the, um, the planks, LVT, yeah. it was like the same price as the material, so. Yeah. Just went that way. I am, hey, bro, I'd be lying if I didn't do epoxy myself. Yeah. I won't mad at it at all. This is dope. This is yeah, dope. Well, cool. I got to introduce you real quick. All right. You, you afraid of the camera? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm with the one and only. Omar at the Enchanted Hourglass, located at 10037 West Hillsboro Avenue, Tampa, Florida. There we go. Instagram. At the Enchanted Hourglass. Oh, I like that. Enchanted. Who gave yeah. up that name? I did. You did? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody be like, wife, you came up with the name. I right? would have thought like, that nah, she did. Oh, she should did. we not nah, stop? Nah, no, you good, you good. Good? Yeah. How well, big is I don't this? know if you want to mess up your Yeezys, but. Hey, bro, it's straight. <laughs> we on the road, man. How big is this venue? The usable square feet is 2,500. Okay. But the whole thing is 4,000. Yeah, this looks huge. Yeah. yeah you got, since we are in prime build out, take mm -hmm. me through the vision. Take me through what you got planned. Ooh. All right, so first we got the epoxy. Right. We got the entrance. Okay. Um, first of all, everything that I envisioned that I wanted in event space it came true was here there we go so not sure what we're gonna do here yet but i know we want a focal point on this wall you gotta do an accent wall yeah we're gonna do it i'm not sure what we're gonna do yet but we're gonna get it done i don't know maybe you could did you put those lights in they were there already and i sprayed them damn they were white and i sprayed them i gotta clean them up now because of the dust but i sprayed them a matte black they look dope yeah you were saying i'm sorry i interrupted you're saying uh you had some ideas about this wall we did i wanted to put like a maybe our enchanted hourglass on the wall Okay. and do like an infinity mirror but i just don't know what the background would be yet like behind the infinity mirror or we should just leave it like a blank slate infinity mirror so the infinity mirror just to confirm that's the one that like it like you look through it and it keeps going yeah and, and it keeps going, going. Right? yeah me personally i we literally just left keon and raymond oh venue, yeah right those are my people's they yeah, yeah yeah they're super cool right so i like how they did the the accent wall with yeah. like the white kind of stencil out things of that nature yeah i think something similar to so let me ask you this what's the overall what themes are you kind of looking at when you're are you like all white are you doing pop yeah. gold like no i'm doing all white the floors is going to be white and gray with probably pop of silver in it okay so i'm just trying to keep it a plain clean slate to, okay. um, so all around the board so my just come in and decorate with no problems and not be like oh i don't like that black like yeah. no nah, everything is white so you got a couple different options right you can either do like the white accent wall like they did mm -hmm. i'll go lowest to like most expensive yeah. right so like lowest in terms of like you could do like an act like something like the white accent wall that they have at their mm -hmm. venue that with a little triangle kind of yeah. stencil pop out things like that you could do laminate floor on the wall i did that at my at my uh oh, no. at my fulton venue so okay. like you see how they like the planks and whatnot mm -hmm. you could get the ones that are a little bit more like a little bit more fancy like that. More flashy. Let me see if I could, uh, cause I actually do, I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so he in makes... sales mode. Nah, just, <laughs> let me show you. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it gotta make sense. You know what I'm saying? So let me pull this up. So this is a Matterport, right? Highly recommend you get a Matterport done too, right? So you could check this out too. So this is my Fulton location and I'm gonna go over here. You see how I did this ah, accent wall mm -hmm. like that? This is super low cost. I literally paid a guy like a buck 50 to do this. I did that on my kitchen on the um, center island. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just stapled it up. So you can do something like that. You can also do, I don't have a picture of it, but I don't know if you know the, it's like a stone, like a stone looking tile. Okay, you yeah, know, yeah. The stone. Um, it's like a backsplash type exactly, of tile. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So you could do that, like a stone looking yeah. tile. Those are probably what, maybe 250, 290 okay. a square foot. So like if then if you go a little bit more expensive, you could even do a porcelain tile, yeah. right? Like my mom's redoing her bathroom right now. We're doing like a Porsche Carrera tile. Mm -hmm. and you can do that. The possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. really, how creative you want to be about it and how much money you want to spend. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. I don't want to go crazy right now because it could always be done over exactly. time. So and you know. can go simple with a grass wall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go-to staple that you cannot go wrong is grass wall and your name. Yeah. You can get the name printed on Vista print mm -hmm. or imprint, whatever the case may be. You can get one of those builders with a, with a, with a, with a CNC to get it done yeah. in acrylic. 
enchanted venue mm. with the grass wall. That's super. Took a class on that too, how to do the, the, the CNC. neon, your CNC yeah, 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 and the neon yeah. lights. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I Those are big. Right Those are big. And then especially when you have your decor and you have your mm -hmm. rentals and stuff like that, you, every single person is gonna ask. Yeah. So and you could do the whole thing, like whatever you do, you could do this whole thing grass, you could do this whole thing tile, however you want to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just what creative and how much money you want to spend. Yeah, I just don't want it to get too gordy because I don't want people coming in like, oh, I don't like that. So exactly. I'm gonna try to keep it simple but nice. You can't go wrong with grass. Yeah. Cannot. Honestly, all the options that I gave yeah. you, they, you can't yeah, go wrong yeah. with any of them. Right. The white, the, the light white, gray. Yeah. It'll go with the floor and everything like that. I love the glass doors. Oh yeah. Stacy wanna paint these, um, turn it black. I would have so, been mad at yeah. that. So I'm gonna listen to her. <laughs> oh, that. and the light, we was thinking about doing the ceilings over. We was like, nah, just spray them over. So we got it sprayed. Yeah, bro. Those lights though. We're gonna take them out, and I'm gonna put recessed lights here. Okay. So Why? just to to match it with the others, I just. Did you put these in? No. This was it with the space. Yeah. Dude, I wouldn't. Have, I really just wouldn't. Leave have, it for now. I would leave it for now. You have a lot of light yeah. right now. Like we just did a venue tour in Brooklyn. Her venue was kind of dim. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, cool. You can either one rearrange it, or two add more light, or you could do both. This, you have a lot of light, and yeah. I can only see it getting, because I mean, obviously you have the plastic covering it, mm -hmm. so you're blocking and obscuring yeah. all that natural light right now. But you have a lot of light right now. I wouldn't replace it and take them out. This is gonna cost more money. The other thing was why we was gonna do it, those are not dimmable. So we's gonna add a dimmer switch. So the only ones that would dim is like these little center lights. So you think that will be? I don't think it's gonna be a major deal breaker, needle mover. All right. If I'm being honest with you. Yeah. I've never had a dimmer in any of my spaces. So like, don't get me wrong. Like some things move the needle, yeah. right? Like a nice bathroom moves the needle, yeah. right? Or like an accent wall moves mm -hmm. the needle. Dim the light. Yeah. When people are trying to party, it comes off. You know what Let I'm saying? Let me ask you a suggestion though. Where will be your focal wall in here? So here's the thing, and, and I knew you would ask me that, right? Let the focal point be dictated by the clientele. Okay. Right? When you're doing your style shoot, me personally, I probably put it back there when I'm doing a style shoot on mm -hmm. my own just to kind of give the vision. But say, for example, somebody wants it over there, yeah. let them do their thing. You feel what I'm saying? I got you. But off the rip, I probably put it over there. Okay. Just because, like, they walk in straight back. They see it. What's over there? What's up? Okay, yeah, so what right over here, I guess we was gonna use it as like a little storage. Well, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. Okay. Really not sure. Okay. Because we got a couple of rooms. I know one of them is going to be a dressing room. So okay. this one we was thinking maybe a storage or food. I don't know yet. Okay. Here's the thing that I told a, another client, all right? When you have extra rooms, you have yeah. extra spaces, right? There's three things that you always want to check off. And I'll go not necessarily in this order, but in this order, right? There's three things you want to check off, right? Food station, sorry, food. So like a kitchenette. Yeah. Right? Rental storage stationary storage okay. those are three things that you want to check off rental the list. storage stationary okay got rental you. storage for like your rentals your mm -hmm. furniture because that's name yeah. of the game you got to do that right kitchenette number one so like in that order kitchenette number one if you have the extra room first if you only have one room kitchenette okay. make it a kitchenette because it's a value yeah. add right second thing rental storage right because there's a difference between rental storage and stationary storage okay. with the rental storage is like grass wall or our extra tables the and chairs our add-ons yeah. exactly say for example you only had two rooms those are the two things that i'm doing and then the third one is definitely going to be stationary closet like the brooms and like the napkins okay. and like the extra little stuff right there. Mm -hmm. not napkins sorry but like like the broom and the mop and extra stuff yeah. like that that you can fit anywhere yeah. right you could put them in for concealing if you will have to but those three things if you are looking at these extra rooms and you're building out these different things storage i was going to use this storage this is a lot of storage god there's damn. too much storage for here is the yeah it's a little electrical room okay i'm gonna tell you what i'm thinking once i see everything okay okay and then let's go yeah terry on would love to see this yeah i wish he was here to see it that's yeah, my boy had, i mean he had the call today yeah. the weekends his family i week, got it you know what I'm, saying? I'm also working on the bathrooms but i'm trying to knock out the floors like i started oh no you don't want to turn it on all right subway Bro, this is huge yeah i was um doing the subway tiles halfway around and oh, then the top nice. is gonna be like a gray okay you are superman Okay, I can see the vision for sure. Yeah, I cannot wait to see when yeah. this is complete. Like, this is gonna be so dope. This room right here, this is where I said we was gonna probably try to do like a dressing room. Okay. You saw how they, how Raymond, Kiana, they did like a little, yeah, like, I a, like, they, like a little lounge, not lounge dope. setup, it's but a, they did the content studio, they did the lounge, and they did like a changing room. Yeah. I was like, if I had that much space, that's what I would do. They too. did their thing. They did their thing. I went to their grand opening. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did their big one for sure. This one's already built out for kitchenette. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely kitchenette. So I'm going to add a fourth thing to the list, mm -hmm. right? Kitchenette can serve two purposes. It could be kitchenette and food share out, but if you have the space, you can also have 
food share room. Okay. So it's like, oh, okay, cool, I have my kitchenette. And say, for example, you didn't have any more space, then the food station would also go here as well. Okay. But you actually have the space where you can have a, a separate room that's just for food. Okay. So this could be all prep and another room is just all food. Yeah, because I was trying to probably even limit them from having to walk back here exactly. with the bathrooms and everything. Oh, this could be our office. I'm like, oh, we don't need no office. Need no office. <laughs> office no is office. like the, the biggest waste of yeah. space I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I tell people all the time, contracts so, on the bars, cash just as don't well. Don't know what we're going to do with this yet, so... Okay, and then this another, is another, another bathroom. bathroom is gonna be the same way. Subway tiles around. Okay. I had a drop light too that I was probably gonna maybe take these out. Like it was gifted to us, so I was gonna matte black it out and make it a match the faucet. Drop light? What you mean by that? Um, like a ceiling, like a little chandelier. Oh. Sorry, I said drop light. Okay, like a yeah. fixture. Yeah. So I was gonna just put it up here and just probably have it hang just to match, give it that like, subway thing. Like, I feel you. Yeah. So if you have it, if it was gifted to you, yeah. why not? And then we, we got new toilets and sinks. It's not here because keep everything on here when the epoxy comes. Right. But toilet and sink was like $200 for yeah. both. And I got it off of Marketplace. I'm mad at it. Oh, and back here. We got this area back here you also. Have, what? This we, is fire. What we was planning to do was probably, um, Put like the turf grass okay. back here, and like then the um, surf, yeah. and then you see how they have that awning over there. Probably get something like that, and so we could get some fairy lights and stuff. Oh, you want to make um, this like a vibe? Yeah, so they can come out here and chill, get away from the party if yeah. they want to. So that, just to add on to be different from everybody. Oh, if else. you didn't use this space, I would have been so mad at you. Yeah, we have to. This is yeah. a vibe. Yeah, and you can even like even if you want to turf. I'm thinking if that would be overkill because I was gonna say you could even do the hedge around the fence. Yeah, we, we gonna put some on there. But I'm thinking, because like, if you have grass here and then grass there, would that be overkill? Not um, too sure. But you could probably do a different, you could put the awning up first and then see how it Put the it awning works. and even if we, I don't know, maybe PVC around, I don't know. Just make it look like a backyard or something, I don't know. We'll see as we go. I mean, this is good space. We could put the plants here. True, a couple shrubs. Yeah, exactly. This would be a vibe. This is nice. I like this. This is nice. So when we seen this, because before it was like a doggy daycare type place and they needed somewhere in the back so the dogs could go. Correct. So they got this approved by the city. Oh, wow. So this is fire. This is lit. This is nice. I like this. And they're not adding it onto the square footage. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's beautiful. That's even better. Okay, so we have one. So that's a bathroom. That's a kitchenette. That's already spoken for. So yeah. we have one, two. That's a bathroom. Three, four, five. Yeah, that's a lot of room. So we have five rooms and we have four things on the list. Mm -hmm. That's already taken care of. So we have five rooms, four things taken on the list. The biggest one rentals for okay. sure because you're going to need that space because when mm -hmm. the tables and chairs come in yeah when the grass walls come in when the pedestals yeah. come in you're going to want most space and you don't want to have to take it from one room to the next yeah. so this has the most square footage i think yeah, out of all the all rooms, rooms yeah definitely so this would be and i was keeping the shelves so we could yeah keep yeah. them yeah because when you have like tablecloths mm -hmm. and stuff like that you could just <laughs> get organized exactly so this would definitely be for my rentals back here i mean this is electrical stuff this i would probably just put like the wi-fi the camera like the cctv for the mm -hmm. cameras and stuff like that just leave that right here i probably put the stationary closet and stuff like that too yeah. actually you have enough room to not do that so don't put that here no don't do that here yeah leave this just camera setup wi-fi for like when maintenance yeah. people have to come right this is just like if i was to like jump in be your third partner right oh no i'm good with the information this good. one definitely rentals oh like if you get like a nest thermostat and stuff like that it would okay, go over there like that. and that one's like employees only okay that one's employees only so that one this one's gonna be the rentals so we have i gotta remember the size let's see so we have stationary left we have food station left this one i wouldn't put the food here nah I wouldn't put the food here. I wouldn't put the stationery here as well. I might have to come back to this one. Yeah, it's a lot of rooms. Yeah. Well, that one's already spoken for. So we have kitchenette, rental, stationery. What was the fourth one? Food serve. There we go. Kitchenette, food serve. Right. Food serve would not go here. Okay. Food serve. Uh, why is that? Because you don't want it far from the prep area. Okay. Remember, typically people are doing kitchenette and food serve same area. Because when I had Fulton, like if I go back to Fulton, right? Food I mean, serve would be one of those rooms. Yes. Food serve, maybe change room? Or would you keep the change room back there? I wouldn't put the change room there only because people are going to like change and come right into the party. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Change room would probably have to be some somewhere else in this okay. situation. Probably that's going to end up maybe being like a coat closet who knows we'll see well that's smart this is already spoken for this is the prep right this is the kitchenette yeah this is the kitchenette that would be food food right here food okay. right here i would put the food stations in here chafing dishes and whatnot in here like terry on and his 
then you if you ever get the chance to watch the video on YouTube, yeah. he has a separate room where it's just the food. Okay. And he has the prep area separately. So you're in a good position because you have prep right there, food right there. So think about it this. Somebody has a caterer, they prep right here, got the chafing dishes, foop, foop, foop. All set up right here. All right. So I would definitely put the food share out right here. If you okay. do rectangle tables, you do food stations, whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. that would be right here. So that was this one's spoken for, that one's spoken for. All we have left is really just stationary. So this is taken care of. So we have, it's just this room. So now it's just this room and that one. Yeah. And they're about the same size too. But you definitely, you want them back here to change then. So you wanted to do a changing room, yeah. kind of like similar Changing like, room slash lounge. Really, right, right, Because I'm going to put like a couch and floating table. Or right, right, right. Lounge would be in the front because think about it like think so make it into a lounge. So the front that one over there could be like a little lounge situation like that because think about it like this If I'm lounging I could just pop right into the party pop in pop out Okay, changing room you want to be out the way Correct. because it's just like I want to kind of like go out do my own thing Change and then come out. Oh, I'm a beautiful butterfly. You know what I'm saying? And does everyone have access to a lounge area? Or is that something like most likely? Yeah, okay. I mean that's up to you though yeah. That would be totally up to you, yeah. but most likely everybody would have access to the mm -hmm. lounge that, that's, that's yeah, a because I never thought about yeah i never thought about even what to put in the lounge room so i mean I, like you saw with uh, raymond and kiana they had and it's just I, the reason i refer to them is because i literally just, just left yeah. there right and and like they're in your city they had couch little tv a couple bar stools yeah things like that. that's really think about like all right i'm just trying to get out from the party and i got the high top tables too maybe you could make it a nice little you know what i'm there, saying so. put like two little high top yeah. tables put a couch Put a couple bar stools. Mm -hmm. It's just like, all right, cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to step away from the party, have a little conversation with my auntie who I haven't seen in a minute. Yeah. Boom, boom, wop, wop. So, perfect. That one would be the lounge. lounge. This one would be the changing room. Okay, great. Done. Don't go crazy. No office, Stacey. No office. No office. Because yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> think about it. If you had an office and uh, you couldn't have those. And those are value adds. Okay. Change room, lounge, that's a value add. I mean, I never had those type of things. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, if I had the space, I could have done that. Yeah. In New York, you know, we don't get space like that. So this is crazy. Yeah, so I end up doing a lot of stuff myself too because everybody always say how they want a bigger space. Yeah. But they don't understand the cost that come with a bigger space. 100%. Also, you got to take that into consideration before you jump into that crazy. One hundred percent square footage. Which is why I also tell people like, hey, look, listen, like, know your budget before mm -hmm. you start looking at space. Yeah. Because if somebody has a thirty thousand dollar budget versus an eighty thousand dollar budget, exactly. you're looking at two different, two different spaces. Things. You're looking at two different types of finishes and things of that mm -hmm. nature. Like, it just does not make sense. So what is your timeline on this? What are you doing with um, subcontracting? My timeline, probably within the next two weeks, I should have every, hopefully every, everything done. No way. Why not? Two weeks? Yeah, because I just got to grind, um, grind the floors, I guess replace whatever lights, um, finish up the bathroom, and the guys are coming into epoxy, and that's like a three-day, four-day process. What about all the furniture? I have it in storage. Oh. So, so I actually got, I ordered from China. Okay. And then got the shipment, and I was like, dang, I'm done. The epoxy's gonna come, so I end up um, putting, in storage. putting it in storage. So I got the chairs. So the money I saved, like doing everything myself, I kind of like put it into some decor already. Like I got a, um, we got a black couch, nice beige and a pink, beautiful. Um, the Shivari chairs, and then like we got a like a. Let me show you. It's like a star, so we got have for the package. And at my house, I'm gonna build like three set arches and stuff. Oh so, wow. So, so you're gonna have because okay. I'm trying to have all these things in house. So I don't want to really rent anything. That's the name of the game. This venue is gonna be crazy. Like this is gonna be insane. Oh yeah, now I love I love these. I didn't even know they lit up until after we <laughs> signed really? the lease. Yeah, I was like, oh, why they put this here? And then I went to the breakup box. I was like, where? Why is this off? I popped it on and they, That's they lit crazy. up. That's crazy. It didn't look like it lit up. Yeah, this is hot. That's a vibe. I'm not gonna lie. I would put like LED light strips around. Yeah, cause yeah, you told me about the LED light strips, so I was really gonna um, put it around this whole area. We got okay. up lights already, and then they have these covers that go on them, so you don't see like the dots and yeah. stuff. You put the cover on it, it looks like one whole light. So I'm, oh, I'm nah. gonna. Oh That's gonna be fire. What does that machine do? Oh, that's a vacuum. Oh. When I'm grinding, it just sucks up all the oh, dust. Oh, so there's not that much dust. Yeah. That's smart. Oh, what kind of moldings are you gonna do? White rubber moldings. Rubber moldings. Yeah, good. I figured it'll be easier when we mop yeah, it. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely do rubber moldings. I actually told, I, cause I was at another venue and they're like, "What kind of moldings?" I like definitely do the rubber mm. moldings. I'm not doing no wood, so it could get nah. chipped. I'm not doing the. Nah, bro. I, I had to rip all all of mine out for my venues. We got this star right here, so we ordered this star, so we could um. So oh, that's crazy. With the star shoot, we're gonna have the lady come and use that. That's fire. Um, we got this art. Um, that is tough. And then we got one chair. I kind of, okay. I don't know, like, 
I wish I didn't get the chair now. Like, I don't know, because I, feel, I just feel like it's getting... It's getting played out. Yeah, yeah. so... The sofa's like, really... So, yeah. We, I, oh, I that sofa is hard. So, we got that, the pink sofa. We got the black one. And that was... It looks white, but it's more like it's a... cream. Beige. Yeah. Yeah. So, th those are the couple of items we got. And then the Shivari chairs. Those are smooth. Yeah, and then we got off a of Marketplace, the 60 inches. The round tables? Yeah, Beautiful. So the high tops caught a deal on that. Beautiful. Um, Somebody was throwing out the 60 inch wooden tables too. ESC so, um, putting venues out of business. Yeah. Somebody, was, so I would grab them things up out of a dumpster, but some of them needs to be patched up. But okay. I think I'm going to work on those little by little because I, I might just epoxy those also and make them like um, luxury tables in case somebody want and, or just sell them. So this is like your full time thing right now. Yeah. Damn. Damn. This is, this is real. That's dope. Yeah, so. You get to see the whole thing come alive. Yeah. That's super, super dope. So, okay. Okay, so how are you thinking about arranging the tables, the chairs? I was gonna leave, like you said, leave it up to the client. I, okay. I never really thought about it that deep and it's such a big area, I don't even know yet. Yeah, I mean, what's your capacity? We don't know yet, so we set setting the date for them to come out and do all of that. We just, I got some electrical that I gotta fix up in that room, I don't want them to come out yet. Yeah, and, I feel that. And then have to come back out again. Right, right, so right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right probably first. just start with just- But I think we could get over 150, but I'll, I'll tell them 120. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Totally get it. So now I'm thinking bar tables and chairs. Okay. Tables and chairs, most likely you'd probably put like, cause you have a huge middle mm -hmm. area right here. So you probably put them kind of like boop, 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 yeah. boop. And then over there along the side and then you have this whole middle for like dance area yeah. or whatever the case may be. And I also thought about it like micro weddings. I think it'll be easy to set up too. So, exactly. And then, and then just turn the table, tables exactly. back around and do their thing. What are you thinking about a bar? Probably right here. Okay. But I think that's gonna go along with however they're gonna set up the party also. So. Yeah. It's not gonna be stationary, so we can move it anywhere. Totally get it. So I don't know, and even with the DJ, I don't know, maybe even right there, I, I guess every party's gonna be different. Yeah, every I, DJ I wouldn't stress about. Yeah. Bar I would think about, mm -hmm. because most likely you're yeah. gonna be providing a bar. Definitely get a movable bar yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna build it yourself or you're gonna buy <laughs> it, but definitely get a movable bar, just cause I've seen some people kind of like move them around. Yeah, the, 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 um, the epoxy guy that I use too, he do woodwork. So okay. I'm gonna use him to um, build a bar and he's gonna epoxy it out and oh, everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's yeah gonna, that's gonna he's, be fire. He's, he's nice with it. That's gonna, are you gonna do it to match the floor? Yeah. That's gonna be fire. That's yeah. gonna be clean. Shit. Yeah, he's nasty with it. He he cuts out, put lights in the epoxy and everything. Oh, that's gonna so, be So I'm not fire. sure if I'm gonna do that with the thing because I know it's gonna be more money, but yeah. it's gonna be an option if I can afford it. I mean, you could always, you don't have to do it right now. Mm -hmm. But because it's kind of like we do our capital expenses now, like what we need. Yeah. And then later on, three, six, 12 months down the line, we start Makes reinvesting sense. back into the business. All right, I'm gonna upgrade this. I'm gonna get more of this, get more of that. Biggest thing right now that you want to invest in is just rentals. Yeah. Because that's how you sell more packages. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are not doing that. Yeah. So you're taking this. So right now, there's glue on the floor that's giving, it's a pain in my ass right now. Trying okay. To get, get it up. So I rented the machine on Monday. It conked out on me. It what? <laughs> It just died. It died? Yeah, so I was working on Monday and I was like, damn. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get another machine. They gave me, they refunded my money and then they did recharge me. I got it yesterday and I have it for the whole weekend because they're not open on oh, Saturday, wow. Sunday. A win is a win. You are, you're, you said this is a whole bunch of glue? Yeah, it's glue, like, yes. Yeah, they had like these the rubber mats stick. down, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you smell it now, but I have plugins all over the place. This thing was smelling like animals. Oh, damn. <laughs> so, How long was the place vacant for? I think they said about a year. That's how you know they're real negotiable. Yeah, so. And they gave us everything on the LOI, so I can't complain, so. Hey, bro. Shout out LOI, yeah. man. The windows is gonna slap. Like, yeah. all this natural lighting. What is this? And I was, it was like an electrical box or something. Like, we had one here, two there. Okay. So I had the electrician come in. He was like, yeah, you could keep it if you have a DJ or something. We could, um, they could plug into it. I was like, nah, I'm doing the epoxy. I don't want right. nothing on the floor. So I just rip it out, dumped it with cement in there. Makes sense. And just going to cover it over. Got you. Okay. We have a pretty good plan. And you said, okay, I know you said two weeks. Like that includes like the accent wall and stuff like that? Or? Oh no, that wouldn't include the accent wall. Like I said, every certain things I think we could just do over time. Right. So I'm not going to stress myself. I just want to get open, open yeah and yeah and then do everything as makes sense go. yeah makes perfect sense makes perfect sense okay nobody i don't think anybody's gonna notice that there's no accident wall there yet so they'll come in and be like oh okay yeah nice it's empty it's white Put some balloons there i don't know <laughs> that's gonna be dope awesome all right i want to interview you okay that's cool all right you nervous um no i'm good you're good all yeah. right cool let we can do it what do you think we should do 